In this video, I explain how to calculate the beta for the capital asset pricing model. First, uh, you should notice that I have one year of daily data here for both the market uh, represented by the Standard & Poor's 500, the ticker um, to um, download the data for the Standard & um, for 500, it's a GSPC <coughs> ticker. You might want to use Yahoo Finance or other <coughs> news source, yeah, financial news source. Um, then I have, as an example, Microsoft um, daily prices also. Right. Then I have another a second matrix to estimate the returns of both market um, and the companies. So the, the estimation of the returns is done selecting. <clears throat> this, um, this day, the 30th of the month, divided by the just previous day, minus one. There is one way to estimate the return from uh, one day. So this is already into a percentage format. And if you just copy and paste to the right, you will get the same return for the company, Microsoft. Then I just um, copy and paste or autofill all, all of the days till the end, just by clicking here, double clicking um, to autofill automatically or just drag till the end. That's uh, another way to, to do it. So this is, our, the, this is the matrix for um, daily returns on the market and, and the company. And that way we're set to estimate the covariance, which is how the returns relate to each other. Um, the formula in, in, in Excel is covariance, right? So it's this one and it's, um, we need to select all the matrix for the market return and also select all the returns for, for the company. Close parenthesis and enter. This number here is the covariance of the market and the companies, which is a number not to be um, read here. Next, we need the, the variance of the of the market returns to make the comparison. And that's it. That's uh, the two first estimations. We need the covariance and the variance of the market. Then the beta is nothing more than the division of the relationship with a company's return and the market as the covariance here, divided by the variance of the market. And this is the actual beta of the company which is Microsoft in relation to the market return. And this number 1.17 represents that Microsoft has a greater um, variability or volatility with the market than the market itself. The market beta is actually one um, as uh, the market is um, the base example. And then we can read that Microsoft moves uh, normally in greater ways than the market does because it's greater, uh, its beta is greater than one. So that's, that's one way to estimate it. And the next one, it's uh, using graphs, uh, a scatter graph. And for that, I will select only the returns for both market and the companies. I, I just selected all the, the returns. We don't need the date and we go into um, graphs and there is an, a special type of graph that is called scatter and it's important the first uh, column is the market and the second is uh, the, uh, the company's return and what you can see here let's, let's move back a little bit so you can see the whole picture every period here represents um, the return of of the market and, uh, and the companies in one point right here. So this, this 
point right here represent the movement of a specific day of the return of the market in a specific day and the same uh, of the company's return. So that day the market moves 2.22% and Microsoft moved higher in the same direction but in a greater way, 2.91%. So that, this is a very representative movement according to the beta. Beta is greater than one, so the market here moves uh, only 2.22 and the mark and the companies move a little bit more 2.91 um, there are also some some points that represent um, negative movement again the, the beta is positive so that means the the company moves in the same direction as the market normally and this this point right here represents that the market went down um, and the company again move in the same direction which is negative move a little bit down too so in as you can see all these points they move in a they they are um they're organized in a, in a certain way this this cloud has a a certain direct um representation or relation if you right click there will be um right click on any of the of the data you will see there is an option called um, line, Tendency Line. You click on it. And the first option is a, a line um, relationship with the points. This is what the one we need. And we select also uh, equation for that. The, the equation is a regression equation for all these, all these points you are you're just looking here in the graph. And you notice there is this equation has a coefficient. The coefficient is actually um, the same beta. And those are the two ways to estimate um, the beta for um, stock um, in stock returns in relation to the market.